Hello, welcome to Nanchat. My name is Chris Murrow. Back in June, I did an experiment using uh, the four uh, successful colonies of Prilipas in Paris that I uh, was able to obtain. Um, basically, I found a nuptial flight. They are unusually predictable uh, in, in that they happen on like basically the first warm day in this you know 70 degree Fahrenheit uh, of the year, <coughs> uh, as early in my uh, area as February, but as late as uh, April. So. Um, more commonly, they start in March, though. Uh, basically, I was able to catch a bunch of colonies, started them up, and as soon as they got first workers, I uh, put them all together inside of a uh, container. Of five queens that I caught, I got uh, four of them to uh, be successful. The fifth queen, she died, like, right after her first workers were born. It was kind of weird. I just found her covered in mold one day, and I didn't understand why. Uh, so what I did was I went ahead and fed the colonies, but I did this all inside uh, the same setup. So they had access to sugar water, one-to-one -one, uh, ratio, that was soaked up inside of um, uh, just uh, rolled up tissue paper. And uh, this was placed at the front of all of their tubes. Uh, the test tubes were of course opened and placed on a stand so that they were tilted forward, which is just something that I do with all of my colonies. Now, I wish I went. I could go back and redo this part because I feel like food had a uh, had, may have had a role here in what the how the uh, colonies reacted when they first saw one another. See, the reaction to workers from different colonies um, finding one another was getting into a, a defensive stance, uh, outright stinging or spraying each other with something, and uh, one would get all perturbed and run around and do you know crazy things. And uh, the other one would then, uh, oddly enough, the other one just started feeding uh, the one that just uh, tried attacking it. Sometimes they would start feeding before they, uh, were, you know, they just said, you know, ah, enemy, and attack, you know. Yeah, so it was almost like a weaponized form of uh, uh, liposuction, or, or, you know, just being friendly. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor, you know, here you go. Why don't you take this? Don't rob me. You know, this is sort of like a mugging in process. So. That eventually settled down within the first so oh, ten twenty minutes or so of this whole thing, and the colonies just started you know mingling with one another. Workers from one would walk into the uh, nest of the other, and uh, eventually it started transporting uh, eggs. And uh, sooner or later, all the other workers joined in and would uh, get the hint. Yeah, in the uh, weaker colony of uh, the one the, 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 that is to say, the one that was not getting uh, anything added to it, but rather oh, the workers were taking things away. Uh, the queen eventually got curious as to where all of her uh, belongings and nest were, so she eventually just walked out without any assistance of workers. I believe there were a, there was a few uh, that were trying to just like poking around at her, giving her like encouraging tugs, but they were not really around her for as much as what's normal when you see uh, ants like relocating one another. At least what I would think is normal. You know, usually you see uh, you know just colonies going at it really, you know, just like, you know lift them up and pull or grab an antenna or mandible or something and just tug, tug, tug. But you know, here we have uh, pictures of a uh, queen who's uh, exited her uh, nest, and she's going into the uh, one next to it. And I have video of this coming up shortly. Inside the nest, they eventually just merged the uh, two brood piles and um, uh, just you know generally got along with one another. There was, uh, you know, usually these types of situations... Um, uh, might end badly eventually for one of them, but here we are in late August and we have all four together. Moving over to the video portion of this segment, we have here our uh, general setup. One queen is halfway in the process of moving. She really hasn't quite gotten the hint yet, but she, uh, you know, she decides to go and sort of investigate. She's there at the entrance to the next, uh, to the, uh, I guess, stronger colony. Uh, I believe they were the strongest. I believe that queen on the uh, or the right there, her colony got the workers first, and thus she had uh, more workers to basically cast votes as to where their home should be. It's a nice silhouette of the uh, queen we just saw there. So she's making her decision to go inside, and we had we do see some uh, workers getting pulled in, pulled on in, just uh, relocated. And it's sort of uh, this is you know nice friendly behavior. Two colonies merging together. Uh, granted, they are of the same species. Uh, farther down, we have the two colonies on the left, which took longer to uh, relocate one another, or locate one another, uh, but eventually were relocated to uh, this colony here on the right, which now has two queens and uh, bas you know basically two colonies worth of uh, young workers to uh, cast votes as to say you know which tube they move into. There's the uh, for 
the uh, middle tube there that was uh, empty, and uh, we are looking through a plastic container. I apologize on the uh, sort of haze that we're getting there, here and there, and I'm just casting a flashlight down on them. I believe these two colonies actually merged with uh, one another first, or they sort of were in the process. I did not actually witness their moving, but I do see uh, eggs being taken out of the one nest and possibly being brought into uh, this one here in the middle, or the one to the all the way to the right. Eventually, all of the uh, ants did move into just one tube, and in nature, this is kind of a this is a more friendly way of uh, problem solving a uh, situation where, you know, rather than having four separate colonies starting, uh, you know, next to each other with possibly within inches or, uh, you know, a couple of feet or, uh, you know, less than what one colony would consider its own territory, we have uh, multiple nests uh, just combining into one and, you know, pooling their resources. That way they stand a better chance against a uh, larger colony or a bigger neighbor. So here we have the colony today. I took this video just hours ago. You can see all four queens are inside the same tube. Then you can also see a curious worker coming up to us. And uh, they do have a small pile of brood in there, and uh, quite a workforce now. I know, from, I, I know from experience that a single queen left on her own will produce something about like 50 workers in her first year before they stop laying. And uh, now that we have four here, I would expect the colony to reach 200 before the uh, last egg is laid. So I'm going to leave you now with a uh, footage of a wild colony that was uh, taken uh, sometime over the summer. You see, they do put their repletes to work. I've been Chris Murrow, and this is uh, Ant Chat looking at some Pernipia Simperis, and of course I have a blog, antsbeesbutterfliesnature.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching.